Hi, I'm Kenny from Hans Devil Crochet. Nice to have you once again. Let's make a kimono that is um, lovely to wear in this kind of weather that we're going to. You can wrap it around in front or you can just leave it down. The back is very elaborate but easy to make, no sewing at all whatsoever. So any crochet beginner can, you know, with a bit of patience make it. So all you need is to gather your crochet material and make this gorgeous kimono. Now this kimono would stand out depending on the yarn that you choose to use to make your kimono. So let's go on a crochet journey. I will be using 100% uh, cotton yarn. You can use any yarn and a corresponding crochet hook. Although this yarn calls for 4 millimeter crochet hook, but I will use a 5 millimeter crochet hook. And this is the texture feels a little bit hard and um, steady compared to any type of other um, yarn that you have. So make a slip knot and you make a chain as long as you want it to be plus one i'll be making a chain of 150 chain stitches plus one when you make your chain stitches drip it round over your shoulder to the back and see that you're quite happy with the length that you're going for or you can measure how long you want your kimono to be now this kimono we are not going to go from side to side we're going to go from the longest part of your kimono so when we finish you don't have to sew anything together okay carry on with your chain stitches make a double crochet yarn over you have two loops on the hook make another double crochet into the next chain space we're walking through the back loop only the back hump you know i always like to walk through the back hump because it gives a better edging for your project and if you're quite pushed with time you don't even have to think about any crochet border at all so that's a tip for you carry on making your double crochet turn chain one to go up and then make a double crochet into the first double crochet yarn over into the next make a double crochet yarn over into the next make a double crochet you carry on making your double crochets for this beautiful gorgeous ruhana or kimono wrap make your double crochets for a total roll of 20 rows or if you want it wider you can carry on it's up to you you know how you like your taste so after 20 rows of double crochet remember we have a length of 150 double crochets into the first we'll make a double crochet just like so yarn over skip the first skip the next and then into the third make a double crochet go back into the second double crochet that you skipped and make a double crochet you have crossed your double crochet just like so it will look a little bit like x so this is the cross stitch so you skip one space into the next make a double crochet yarn over go back into the skipped space and make a double crochet to cross it that's it it's simple isn't it you only a beginner if you limit yourself so anyone can do this project at all it's really easy just take your time to learn each of the pattern and you'll be good to go so there you go you can see the shape forming now 
skip one into the next make a double crochet yarn over and then you cross by going back into the skipped double crochet and make a double crochet that's cross stitch you've done so carry on with your cross stitch row it is how it is looking so far well done we have three spaces left so we skip one make a double crochet we cross over go back into the skipped double crochet and then make a double crochet into the very last uh, double crochet just make one double crochet and that's it you've completed this row this is your 21st row 10 10 10 chain one to step up into the very first we'll make double crochet and you guess it we're going to repeat the cross stitch skip one space into the next make a double crochet yarn over go back into the skipped space and make a double crochet carry on now you're doing really well keep going till the end of this row and you would have completed your 22nd row or however many rows you you're doing With this Ruhana wrap, this is it. There is nothing like skipping or making it fast or whatsoever. This is how it was filmed and I hope you enjoy it. So it makes it easier for you to make this project. So coming to the end of the row, we have three spaces left skip one and into the next make your double crochet yarn over go back into the skipped space and make a double crochet to cross your stitch in top of the very last double crochet you make a double crochet We're so happy to have so many of you on the Insta Raw Crochet. If you haven't subscribed for any reason whatsoever, feel free to press the subscribe button. We'd love to have you on board. Thank you. Now we'll make a double crochet. Yarn over. Chain one. Skip one space. Into the next, you make a double crochet. Chain one skip one space and make a double crochet into the next this is the pattern for the next row you're making a double crochet chain one skip one space and double crochet into the next that's it it's still easy all you have to do for this pattern is to know your slip knot your um chain stitches you need to know your double crochets and i think you should be good to go all right well done that is how it's looking so good so we're coming to the end of this row skip one space into the next make your double crochet chain one skip one space and make a double crochet for this row you will have to make another double crochet to complete the row and that's it
turn, chain one, double crochet into the first double crochet space. into the next make a double crochet and into the chain one space go right into the chain and make a double crochet so for this roll all you have to do is make one double crochet into each double crochet and when you reach your chain one space go right into the chain one and make a double crochet so carry on all the way down well done I am so excited because when you make this gorgeous kimono you would love it I love mine and I appreciate it so much so coming to the end of this row we complete by making our double crochet when you finish your project all you have to do is you can block it if you want to and it will be gorgeous on you okay that is how it's looking so far turn chain one to step up into the first make double crochet For this row we're going to go around the post and make front post double crochet chain one yarn over make a double crochet into the next yarn over make a front post double crochet this is the pattern you need for this row So you make a front post around the post to make a double crochet and then into the next you make a double crochet and this is how it is carry on all the way down we're nearly at the end of this row yarn over make a double crochet you have one more double crochet space make a double crochet turn your work chain one into the first we'll make a double crochet now this is the back of the kimono so what you do is where you have your um, normal double crochet you make a double crochet and where you've made your front post in the other side now it's going to be at the back so you make a back post double crochet just go around from the back around the post and make your double crochet like so into the next just make your normal double crochet back post double crochet make a normal double crochet back post double crochet and carry on down this length Make your normal double crochet to finish the row. Turn, chain one, make a double crochet. 
10, chain 1, double crochet into the first double crochet, and repeat the pattern. Where you have your front post, make your front post double crochet. Into the next, make your normal double crochet and front post double crochet. See you at the end of this row. Okay, we're completing this row. We'll make our normal double crochet into each of the next two double crochets. And that's it. You can see the kimono is shaping up. After you've made your ninth roll of your front post and double crochet, stop halfway. My count will be 75 double crochets. 10 and then make a double crochet going back the other way into the next don't forget you make a back post double crochet because we're walking through the back of the wrap back post double crochet make your normal double crochet and so on So for a total of three rows, you'll be making your front post when your project is facing you and back post when it is at the back. Front post. In there, you make your normal double crochet. This will form the neck area of the kimono. Chain one, two, three, chain all the way to seventy five. To complete the 150 chain stitches that you started with from the beginning plus one don't forget to add your turning chain as well so this will be the other front the flap the other front of the wrap turn your work as usual and we'll make double crochets into each one double crochet into each so let's move that out of the way so you can see what we are doing here so yarn over you have two loops on the hook go into the chain space the back on and make your double crochet Keep making your double crochets down and I'll see you halfway point. The kimono when you spread it out it looks like a big blanket and with a u shape for the neck that is all what we are doing here the only beauty about this as well is you don't have to sew at the end so that is it one less job to do 
so when you come to the middle part or the midpoint you just carry on as normal keep making one double crochets on top of each double crochets down the length see you at the end of this row Turn as usual and we'll carry on repeating the um, front post double crochets when the project is facing us the right side up and when you turn it to the back you remember to make your back post with your normal double crochets. Make a total of nine double crochets to balance the other side that we've done That's how it's looking so far. The yarn is so lovely. I just need to tell you, I'm not sponsored or anything like that, but you know, <laughs> we love good, good yarn. You know, it makes the work go so smoothly and beautifully. So once you carry on making your um, nine rows of front post, double crochets when it's facing you and, uh, back post when you have the wrong side you're going to repeat the pattern that we did when we started with in a reverse order so this means you will have to do after your nine rows of the front post double crochet you will have to do your double crochet chain one space double crochet then you do two rows of your cross stitches and you complete by making your 20 rows of double crochets that is it because i didn't want to bore you too much it's already long as it is this video and then go around the entire perimeters by making single crochets enjoy your beautiful crochet project it's always nice to have you here if you um haven't subscribed don't forget to press the subscribe button in the mid middle would love to have you on hands that roll crochet and we have two boxes there for you feel free to enjoy some of our crochet tutorials till we meet again here we say god bless you and have a great day bye bye